In the ESU, the extended Seagal universe, the Bushido masters have been prominent and provided great entertainment. Especially this bloke. He is definitely one of my favourites. <laughs> As much fun as it is watching these fart eaters prance around like Dumb I thought at time we have a look at some legendary lads who have decided to confront these stooges and bring down the hammer. Now I normally wouldn't condone or encourage extreme violence against people unequipped to fight back, but these martial arts masters had it coming. You might say that true justice was coming for them, and they were marked for death. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for them, Seagal wouldn't waste his time on something so beneath his superpowered attacks. Today we're going to see a variety of different masters getting destroyed by various disciplines, but generally MMA practitioners or actual fighting styles at work. Most of the people in this video seem to be Chinese martial arts masters who have challenged actual fighters. Why? I really don't know. Somewhere in their tiny little pea brains, they actually thought all that arm waving and chi nonsense was going to stop someone from punching them square in the face. God damn it, I don't know what it is about your face, but I want to deliver one of these right in your suck hole. Is there anything I can do to work on that? No, so you not wouldn't... really, it's your face. Sometimes people have to learn the hard way that life isn't a movie. Unlike most of these fake martial artists, the community of Segalians is the real deal. A group of sensible, throat-tropping maniacs with a grounded sense of morality and values. Much like our Big Daddy pencil I would like you a lot less if you had a dick. Especially if it was bigger than mine. I don't think that's possible. Besides, you've got so much to live for. Please wake up. To join the fastest growing spiritual awakening today, think about liking and subscribing. There are rumors that if we ever get to 50k subs, Big Daddy will come down and shower us all with his juicy ball sweat. Yep. What? A man can dream. A man can dream. Now the common thread with most of these Chinese martial arts masters is their extreme delusion and misguided belief in their craft. Tai Chi and Kung Fu look cool, and I'm sure when incorporated with actual fighting techniques like kickboxing, boxing or wrestling, they might provide some unique perspective or advantage. But when used alone, they are pretty useless. Unless you are a coat rack. I mean, I don't even know what the hell this is, but it looks very similar to a certain portly master we all love and revere. Hajime, begin, they just run at you full speed and just try to take you down. In my mind, it's sort of the essence of the form. That is to say, the idea of the form is to be able to deal with more than one attacker at a time. I mean, if you're dealing one-on-one, -on -one, and certainly we train, that's how we train. So what happens when these idiots challenge an actual fighter with skills? A uh, bad thing. <laughs> first, we have a Tai Chi master getting knocked out in literally the first 10 seconds. This is going to be a common theme in these videos because none of these tools have ever had a moment of combat in their lives. You can tell by how someone reacts to getting punched whether or not they're actually used to getting punched. Like this bloke who has his hands down as if he was Steven Seagal in a movie. But it's Team Richie! Huh? Unfortunately for him, he isn't Steven Seagal and instead gets knocked down and eventually knocked out. I know you're probably skeptical about the legitimacy of Tai Chi in actual combat, so I found some footage where it's actually a close fight. Nah, this guy gets annihilated also, because they have no idea how to fight and just wave their hands around, which unfortunately does nothing to stop incoming head kicks. Now there is one man who decided to stand up for Tai Chi and represent them honorably. If he were to somehow lose, which he obviously wouldn't, 
He is not the kind of man to make up excuses. A truly honorable martial artist. Right. I mean, that's reasonable. One year notice isn't asking too much. Well, yeah, the soft surfaces, of course. I believe the other reason was the skeptic was un, was a, a totally non-believer, non-believer. Plus, I don't know if I should say that on film, but if the guy had his tongue in the wrong position of the mouth, uh, that can also nullify it. And you can nullify it if you raise those two big toes. Plus. If I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. 站位的时候，裁判让我站这个位置。这个位置的话是面对着阳光的。徐晓东是背对着阳光，我是有一点刺眼的。当时我也没完全在意。那么打起来了，那么的话一移动起来的时候，那么这个阳光刺眼的这个很明显的就是，因为树当时有树叶挡着嘛，后来是没有树叶挡了，又在户外，我是没有办法。那么所以就。Yeah, it was a fluke. A fluke that you got punched in the face and threw in the towel like a little bitch. Sand. 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 Ah, Obviously, Tai Chi can be tricky against an MMA fighter or anybody with two days of actual fighting experience or training. But what about Wing Chun? I love all of the Ip Man movies, and I have seen some Wing Chun dudes on YouTube doing stuff that looks pretty badass. But whatever these masters are teaching can't be considered useful for anything. This young lad had obviously also seen the Ip Man movies and thought he was Donnie Yen because he challenged an MMA fighter, and the results were not very good for him. Why do none of these idiots believe in putting their hands up to guard their face? Do they really believe they are fast enough to dodge, parry, or catch punches? Only one man has those reflexes, you fools. They all say you are. Every once in a while. This pudgy 44-year-old Win Chunky master thought it would be a great idea to challenge a trained and fit 26-year-old kickboxer. Well, it wasn't. The young lad was a bit over enthusiastic at the start, but after a few well-placed punches, Kung Fu Free Willy was dropped to the canvas. I think it's time we see some more youthful Kung Fu masters showing these old lads how it's done. This bloke has a long bloodline of Wing Chun masters in his family. So fighting against a boxer with only one arm should be a cakewalk. Wrong, wrong. Not sure if this guy injured his arm before the fight or just thought the other guy needed a handicap, but either way, I think he won. Oh, hello, please. Bing bao, ching chong. This genius thought it would be a good way to impress his students by challenging someone to a fight. His opponent was only an amateur MMA student, so this would be a quick stroll in the park for a master such as him. You got knocked up. Our last hero, who looks exactly like the bad guy from the original Ninja Turtles movie, is known for his no-touch wizardry and impeccable 200-0 fight record. I can only assume he's counting his wins in Street Fighter against his two-year-old nephew. Otherwise, I call bullshit. This bloke enjoyed eating his bull that much that he put up a challenge of five thousand dollars to fight an MMA fighter in front of all of his followers. Okay, USA. Let's see how that played out for him. First, he shows the Sagal patented hand wave and swat a few times. Textbook move when dealing with pesky women or flies buzzing around. He cops a knee and a left hook for his efforts and drops to the floor. 
Having never been hit before, it takes him a while to recover. Five minutes later. The MMA bloke realizes this is the easiest cash he'll ever make and basically has his way with the old man until the fight is stopped. Easy 5k. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a take you to the bank, to the blood bank. These guys are heavily invested in their delusions to the point where they actually believe reality matches their own perceived reality. Perhaps nobody ever bothered to stop and tell them what they are doing is useless as a fighting technique. Am I the inventor of kicks and punches? Of course. Am I tremendously dangerous? Of course. Am I one great master? Of course. Am I a real warrior? Of course. It looks beautiful and sounds great in theory, but when put into practice, it is absolutely pointless. Even karate and taekwondo schools hand out belts and stripes purely based on attendance or the fees being paid. The traditional martial arts are being watered down to the point of being impractical and pointless. Fighting has evolved and will continue to evolve. There's no touch or bullshito, students are heavily indoctrinated and sucked into the world of bullshito and one day, it will get them hurt. It's not as bad as eating NyQuil chicken, but it's still pretty f***. NyQuil chicken is a dish that involves marinating chicken in the cold and flu medication NyQuil with the intent of creating a meal that will treat sickness symptoms. Basically, if you inhale this do-it-yourself tear gas, it can cause a lot of shitty side effects, including that. All right, my fellow Segalians, I thought we'd go with a lighter video today, given the intense topic of the tater tot taint video last week. Haram! Coming up soon, we've got another Big Daddy movie classic and some music industry sellouts that deserve to be pooped on. Until then, my friends, keep doing whatever makes you happy, keep an open mind, but above all, stay awesome. Peace, legends. I'm a watcher with my sorrow